And just before we go, let's bring you a recap of the top trending stories from the courts. The Court of Appeal, Lagos Division, upheld the order of interim forfeiture of the sum of $5.8 million and 2.5 billion naira traced to the account of the wife of the former president, good luck Jonathan, patience. The Federal High Court, Ikoyi, Lagos, had on April 26, 2017, granted an order of interim forfeiture of the monies traced to patients Jonathan's account, domiciled with Skybank PLC and Ecobank PLC, on the grounds that the money was reasonably suspected to be proceeds of unlawful activities. Moving the application for the temporary forfeiture of the money, counsel to the EFCC, Rotimi Oyedepo, had prayed the court to urgently freeze the account so as to prevent her from moving the funds. In her ruling, Justice Olatoregu had granted the prayers of the EFCC counsel and directed Mrs. Jonathan to show cause why the money should not be finally forfeited to the federal government. However, the Appellate Court of Appeal, presided over by Justice Mujit Owade, upheld the constitutionality of Section 17 and upheld the order of the interim forfeiture of the various sums of money belonging to Jonathan. And the Federal High Court sitting in Lagos has ordered a former permanent secretary in the Ministry of Labour and Productivity, Dr. Clement Onubuogu, to permanently forfeit to the Federal Government of Nigeria the sum of 664 million naira and $137,680. The former permanent secretary did not contest the forfeiture of the monies as he had opted for an out-of-court settlement with the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC, which was prosecuting him for the offence. The offences were committed when Mr. Onubogo served as permanent secretary at the time he was supervising numerous programs of the subsidy reinvestment and empowerment program SHOP. He was said to have diverted monies for the program to his personal use. Justice Salau Saidu granted the order for the forfeiture of the money to the federal government. In another case the same judge has fixed January 19th to give its verdict on the application filed by Union Bank challenging the final forfeiture of the property described as flat 7b number 16 Osborne Road Ikoi. It's the property where the EFCC in April 2017 discovered large sums of money totaling about 13 billion naira. Justice Salau Saidu had on November 9, 2017 granted an ex parte motion by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and ordered a temporary forfeiture of the property to the federal government. The court had then directed the commission to notify the owners of the property to appear before it to show cause why it should not be permanently forfeited to the government. However, another party, Union Bank PLC, had laid claim to the property. The bank argues that the apartment in question was part of a larger property belonging to a former PDP chairman, Al-Haji Adamumu Azu, who mortgaged the entire property to the bank in order to secure a loan granted since 2011. The bank also claims that the loan is yet to be liquidated even though the flat in question was sold to Kobe Ventures Limited. The EFCC had told the court that the bank lacks the local standing to challenge the forfeiture of the property, reasonably suspected to have been acquired with proceeds of unlawful activities of Ambassador Ayo and Mrs. Folashadeoke. And we round off with the report that the Legal Practitioners Privileges Committee, LPPC, has once again exercised its disciplinary functions. In a press release issued by the body on the 11th of January and signed by Hadiza II Mustafa, the Chief Registrar of the Supreme Court and Secretary of the Legal Practitioners Privileges Committee, the committee announced the withdrawal of the nomination of Oluwatoi Ajoke Bashuru as a senior advocate and the announcement of the withdrawal of the rank of Kunle Ogumba. Ajoke Bashoru was found to have stayed and continued to stay in a rented property for nine years without paying rent, an act which is clearly in contravention of certain provisions of the guidelines for the conferment of the rank of Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Mr. Ogumba, on the other hand, was said to have instituted a multiplicity of proceedings before different judges of the Federal High Court in a petition written against him 
by the Honeywell Group alleging professional misconduct. The committee found the petition meritorious and consequently withdrew the rank of Senior Advocate of Nigeria from him and all other privileges attached to the rank. That's our program this week. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget that you can find this episode and past ones on our YouTube page. I'm Shola Shuyeli.